Welcome guys to another episode on the Extra Mile. My name is Alex and welcome to another Star Citizen episode. And this one is special because it's in the new 3.2 live patch which um, runs beautifully in terms of its performance, uh, which was quite a surprise. Uh, the PTU patches before the test patches uh, did run better on average than the live patch before that, um, but still, it's uh, it's quite a surprise how well this uh, 3.2 patch runs. Um, very little stuttering, very high frame rates, really cool. Anyway, uh, what we're here today uh, for is uh, testing the different flight modes, and without much further ado, let's get into it. I have recently done a video about the comp step. Uh, system and what that does when you turn it off but I thought it might make sense to cover all of the available flight assists that we have so as you can see in the hut on the bottom right there you have four different things that are currently turned on uh, coupled mode is turned on then we have G save then we have com step and then we have ESP um, and we will go through all of those. Let's start with decoupled mode, which I'm really curious about Because I have never tried decoupled mode. So what that does is as you can see we are Still flying in our original direction Which is this way But now for example um, Let's say someone is behind me That I want to kill quickly so I can turn around in decoupled mode without losing my initial tra trajectory. Let's try that again with decoupled mode off. So I, when I turn around now, the ship breaks automatically and starts to move in the direction that I'm pointing. Let's turn decoupled mode off. And again, we can just turn around and strafe our targets. So that's pretty useful. So another thing that decoupled mode apparently is really great for um, is landing. So let's try that. Let's look for a relatively flat space. That crater over there is perfect. And by the way, look how smooth this game is running. It's amazing. So, let's pick a random spot here to land. I think this is about as good as any. So, let's activate decoupled mode. I see! Alright, let's deactivate it for a second here. So, usually what happens when I land, we can show that from the outside, is that I strafe down... But what the autopilot does, um, you push strafe down once and it automatically stops it. So you basically have this jittering motion when you're touching down. There we go. So now let's try that again with uh, decoupled mode, which should be on now. There we go. The ship just continues to keep losing altitude and we landed on a rock which is okay not a great example but yeah that makes total sense to me that is really amazing let's try that again so decoupled mode is on there we go we just give it one impulse we can accelerate or decelerate. Oh, that's amazing! That's so much better! That's so much better for landings! That's awesome! Alright! We learned something today, guys. Isn't that amazing? Alright, on to the next one. So, the next one is G-Safe, and for that one we should go to space, where we are right now. So, G-Safe is relatively simple. It keeps the ship from reaching G-loads that are too high, that would um, 
knock the pilot out. I'm not sure if we will be able to reach those G loads with the Aurora and with Comstep on, which we get to next, which does something similar but not quite the same. But anyway, let's um, accelerate. Let's try to reach some G loads here where we pass out, potentially. But that was a little bit too much already, so you can see that we were very, very close to blacking out there. So let's try, actually let's try the same with G-Save on. I think I pretty much did that and we can see not even close to blacking out. So that is G-Safe, relatively simple, a good uh, tool um, so that you don't black out in a situation where you really don't want to. Uh, so yeah, that's G-Safe, relatively simple, I explained. So let's fly over to Daymar so I can show you what Comstep does. Flying down to the surface of Dema right now. Again, so smooth. No pop-ins that I can see from the terrain. I'm sure there will be some, but so far everything looks pretty much perfect. This is getting pretty good, guys. I mean, 3.2 did not add that much content over 3.1, but the playability has increased so much there we had a little bit of a stutter, but now they are so rare that you really <laughs> notice them. Alright. Approaching Shubin Mining on Dema, which is always a popular spot. Let's say hello to the guy down here. What's up, sir? <laughs> okay. So, Comstep. This is my favorite one. We will try to find some canyon here to the canyons here to fly through. So, what Comstep does when I want to fly a tight left-hand turn around these rocks here, watch the speed gauge, it plummets to about 40 meters per second, 30 meters per second, um, so we can make the turn. So the flight computer automa automatically calculates everything and says, alright, if you want to make this turn, then we have to down, uh, slow down to that speed to make it. Um, which, again, is a sensible thing to do. It is certainly safe. Um, you don't just strafe out, out of the corner, so to speak. Slide out of it without having any control over the ship. Everything is safe. But, it's also a little bit boring. Again, we're basically coming to a standstill during the tight turn here. So, now... What we want to do is turn comp step off, which we have just done. Now let's use the same rock pile here to turn around. And as you can see, the ship does not slow down on its own. And basically starts to slide a little bit. So Comstep really is similar to stability control in a car. Um, it just enables you to have a little bit more fun with the ship. And since we have such great frame rates right now, let's... Ooh, thrust is overheating, that's interesting. Come 
on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh oh. My engines are off. Now they're back. Ooh, that was interesting. Oh, I love flying with Comstep off. You really get a feel for the ship and the mass. It's a lot better. Oh, no, 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 no. The engines really do cut out. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, actually. Now, let's turn Comstep back on. And the difference is immediately noticeable. Not fun. So, um, that's Comstep. One of the best ones to turn off. And uh, now we will deal with ESP, um, which I believe stands for Enhanced Stick Precision, which basically helps you aim uh, with the HOTAS. So, let's look for someone to fight and give that a try. Okay, we're here at one of the common race, and I did not find any pirates, but I did find a Crusader security ship. So we will attack that. Um, we will go for the M50 there, <laughs> because this will be, yeah, this won't be good. But um, yeah, it should give us enough time to check out um, what ESP does, if it's actually helpful. So, let's get our power to the shields and weapons here. Alright. So, Crusader Security, you are on. So, we will start with... Um, let's start with ESP off, actually. Let's start with ESP off, actually. So, now it's off. Fire. Okay, I'm trying. To hit the ship. It's not easy as you can see. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on! He's right there! <laughs> he doesn't even know that he's under attack yet because he has not been hit, been hit once. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer. Let's give this one more shot before we switch ESP on. I think I should have hit something there. Okay, anyway, let's uh, turn ESP on. Okay, so now we have ESP switched on. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, yes, it does. I seem to have a lot more control. So far, I'm still not hitting anything, but... Yes, it's a lot easier to stay on target. Okay, let's see if we can... Yes, there was the first hit. And he's firing back. Oh, yes. Come on, come on. 
not sure if we are able to win this fight, but we will try. What I can say is that ESP definitely makes a huge difference. That hurt. Uh oh. We will be dead in a second here. But yeah, ESP, definitely a great thing. Big help. Ouch. Right. No, 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 no. Oh, and a beautiful, smooth explosion towards the end. That was amazing. <laughs> That was cool. Alright guys, so that was um, a quick overview of all the IFCS enhancements that you can toggle on or off. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick explanation, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I certainly am enjoying this build. Uh, it's very smooth and stable. I did not have one crash so far. And the servers, as you can see, they perform pretty damn well. So yeah, see you on the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.